In today's video, we'll take a look at how to parse a string in C. Um, I have set up a few things here in order to, to get us started because we need a lot of preparation for this. So first things first is the string that we want to parse, right? So let's say this is actually in a file, for example. Um, and what we have here is basically a um, sort of information about a person. We have the person's name, then we have its uh, hometown let's say then we have its age and then we have if whether or not he has a uh, bachelor's degree or not right that's basically a boolean and to make this compatible with c i have uh, treated booleans as zeros and ones that's why it's a zero in this example right and uh, then i have some variables here i just have the name and i initialize it all to zero city same thing then i have an unsigned int age because age cannot be the, the age cannot be a negative number and then we have them uh, we have the boolean here as an int really but that can be zero and one zero or one so there's no uh, other val uh, value that it can have <clears throat> and then i'm just printing the information on the screen so if i try to run this right now i'm gonna get just blank right blank is in blank and it's zero years old because well I've initialized them with nothing. So what we have to do in here, like in between this and this, I want this data to be in uh, each of the variables from over here, right? I want this Andrew to be in the name. I want this New York to be in the city. I want this 20 to be here and I want this zero to be here. How can we do this? Well, you might remember that in the beginning you are told to read this number from the uh, keyboard and what did you do usually what did you do well you would go ahead and say scan f percent d and then the number let's say here i'm reading just the age let's say we're just going to be reading it from the uh, keyboard if i try to run this you notice i can actually type in here now i can say um, let's say 19 i can hit enter and you'll notice that we in, in fact got that 19 inside our variable age, right? So that does work, but it's only from the standard input. It's only from the keyboard. Or is it? As a matter of fact, scanf is a family of functions in C that not only can work with the standard input, with the keyboard itself, it can also work with both strings and files and you can actually format them so what you can do here is instead of saying scanf we can use s scanf what that says is give me as the first parameter the string that you want to parse as if it was already given to you from the keyboard and which string do i want to pass in here well i actually want to pass in this input string right so i can say str here now what i have to do is specify a format, right? A format in which this data is um, aligned. How is this data aligned? Well, we can notice that first we have here a string, then we have a semicolon, then we have another string, then a semicolon, a number, semicolon, number. Right, this means that we can use this semicolon as a sort of separator. We can say here, um, well, first one is a string, so I'm going to, I'm going to say percent %s, I'm going to say uh, semicolon, percent %s because New York is again a string, then we have percent %u because uh, it's not going to be percent %d because this is unsigned and I want it to be unsigned, so I'm going to just use percent %u for unsigned integer. And then there's a percent %d again because this guy is an int. And as with any other scanf uh, that we do, we have to add in here a variable for every single um, specifier, right? So we need one, two, three, four variables in here in order. So the first one is the name, right? That makes sense. The second one is the city or rather a reference to the place you want to store the name and the city. Then the, la the, the third one is a reference to the place you want to store the age. So I'm going to just pass in the reference to that age and same thing with the has degree variable degree 
just like so. Now, if we try to run this, you'll notice something very weird. You'll notice that we get Andrew semicolon new is in blank and is zero years old. So that's not right. That's not quite right, even though we have this string, string, integer, integer set up, it didn't read it right. And when we try to print it, 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 as a matter of fact, the first one here is the name and the name is actually Andrew semicolon new. That's because percent %s actually reads everything up until a space or a tab or a backslash n. So you cannot really use this percent as specifier here. You kind of have to say, okay, well, I kind of want to read everything up until not a space, but something else. What you can do in this case is instead of saying percent %s, you can do something really neat that is implemented in uh, <clears throat> basically any format specifier in scanf. You can say percent and you can open and close, open and close brackets. And inside here, you can specify whatever, uh, whatever characters you want to read, right? So I want to read basically everything except this semicolon. I don't want to read this semicolon. So I'm going to say here A to Z, any lowercase letter and A to Z, any uppercase letter. That's it. That's similar to regex here. And well, maybe a space. Yeah, you could have two names in there. That's not really a problem, right? Same thing with this guy, New York, right? We want to read the whole word up until the semicolon, not just new, right? If I try to run this now, you'll notice a pretty big difference. You'll notice we get Andrew in the name. So that's nice. The name is correct now, but New York, well, we don't get the whole thing. We just get new and we also get zero years old. Why? That's simple. Percent s again reads up until the space here. So we have to specify, okay, well, read just every single letter and space included. So I can say again, a to z, a to z and a space. And then percent u and percent d are going to be correct now because you'll notice we get here Andrew, so that's the correct name. Then we get the city which is New York with the space included. So that works. Then we get 20 years old. So that's also correct, which is really nice. What happened before when we had percent s? Well, what happened is we would, we read the name that was nice. Then we read the city new. Then we read, we kind of tossed the space and we were exactly here. And here, this guy, the input corresponds with this, with this percent u and it couldn't pass that as a number, right? So that's why we didn't get anything here inside the age. All right, so you can do this, you can use this notation, or you can also use uh, the inverse notation. You can say, read everything that is not dot dot something. So I can say, read everything that is not a semicolon, right? Because a semicolon is a separator and I want to read basically everything, even if it's space, I want to read it. So I can change that to a not semicolon. It would be the same exact thing in this case, right? We get the same exact result. Now you'll notice this as scanf function works with just strings, but you can actually, we can actually use this for reading from the keyboard, just as we did before with just scanf. So if we remove this S here, we're going to have to remove this first parameter. And well, if we try to run this now, you'll notice the program kind of stops. So it's, it's waiting for us to type in something here. And we can say, we can actually type in this thing again. So let's say Andrew semicolon New York. Let's say New York City this time. And let's say 19. And let's say here one that let's say he has a degree now. And if we hit enter, You'll notice we got the information inside these variables, right? So you can do the same with a string, with a, with the standard input. And in fact, you can actually do the same with a file if you use f scanf. And then you, you would have to pass in the uh, file handler, the file handle right in here as the first parameter. So this was how you can parse a string in C. This basically works for most cases if you need to read a uh, decimal point number, 
you can if you want to read a boolean you can with zeros and ones not not so much with true and false if you have to read true and false you're gonna have to actually have probably a separate buffer and then compare the strings uh, with actually true and false right as strings and then just set the boolean value if you want to and that's about it with any sort of format you can just read any string and parse it as needed hope this was useful thank you so much for watching if you have any questions do leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server take care bye